what's going on guys so today is now friday july 15th my second day off now i work tomorrow and then i'm off sunday and then i don't know about next week because the schedule's not out yet but anyways so in yesterday's video which i haven't edited or uploaded yet uh i mentioned that i had got a gift card at the exchange i won it they were doing like some scratch off stuff so anyways it's now about 4 30 almost i know it's late in the day but i had a lot of appointments this morning that took a long time so in between appointments i went to the exchange a different one not the one that i normally go to and i came across a steal of a deal and a very rare item that you'd find at an exchange i actually found the lose carbon fire reel so this is an eight bearing system it's seven one to one gear ratio i actually have another lose that uh, i use it's a combo i didn't buy it as a combo but i use a lose uh rod and a lose reel and it's actually a speed spool and it is killer that thing is so buttery smooth it casts so far with very little effort i mentioned in another video that i actually do use a bass pro mega cast bait caster and uh, rod that I actually bought as a combo to be honest it was about 56 bucks and it works well it's not awful I've caught pretty good fish I think the biggest fish I've caught with that was about four and a half maybe five pounds for the money it's not bad it's holding up really well but it is nothing compared to my lose my lose is so smooth and I love it so much but like I said the Bass Pro setup isn't awful it works well um, especially for the money if you're on a budget it gets the job done I found this used my gift card and actually uh, on my little scratch off thing I had I believe 10% off so saved even more money but yeah I'm really excited to use this I'm gonna go ahead and spool it up with some probably braid and then put a floral leader on it like I said it's almost 430 and it is about to rain outside so I can't go fishing just yet. I think it's supposed to stop around 6 o'clock so hopefully by 6 o'clock I'll be able to go out and go fishing for a couple of hours. I'm gonna go ahead and spool this up, put it on one of my other rods and I'll show you guys what it's like when I'm done. I'm also going to be reorganizing my uh, pond tackle bag. Alright guys so I just organized my pond tackle box reorganized it put some stuff away in my other tackle bag that i store here and i only take that one if i'm going like fishing on a boat or whatever or like somewhere further away essentially what i did was i organized my senko style worms these are for murky or dirty water this is more for clear or slightly stained water here i have these two are my other types of worms like curl tail worms, u tail worms, ribbed worms, finesse worms. And again, I did the same thing, clear, lightly stained, murky, dirty water. Here, I have other types, like I have some flukes in here and in here. Uh, I have these creature baits, I have some baby brush hogs, some lizards, and again, dirty, murky water clear lightly stained here are all my jigs here i have my spinner baits my chatter baits my buzz baits here i have my popper i have some inline spinners in here i have a frog in here i have another frog that's like a popper here are some trailers that i could use for my jigs or anything else i have my hooks all throughout here I have my octopus hooks right here I have my weedless I don't know if you guys can see that weedless wacky rig hooks got my football head jigs right here I have some other hooks right there and some tungsten weights right here I also have also have my kytex I got the bluegill bluegill flash I got crystal shad and I hope you just heard that thunder. And I also got a sight flash and then one just fell. I don't know which one it was though. But yeah, I also have my Kytex. So I was planning on going fishing. I said I would go at six o'clock. It's now 
6.41, and if I don't know if you guys can hear the thunder behind me, but it, it sounds awful. I'm really hoping that this thing passes by. It looks like there's a hurricane going on outside. Well guys, it's been about 30, 40 minutes and it's still raining out. It's like it stopped raining. It's already getting dark. Let's go catch some fish. Okay, so I don't know if you can see me right now because it is kind of dark out now, but it stopped raining. There's just a smidge of light out right now. All right, guys, just got here. Got on the black and blue flake Senko. All right, no bites yet, but I mean, it's dark out. It's hard to see anything. All right, guys, this doesn't look like we're gonna get anything, but at least I gotta test out my new reel. Good morning, guys. Today is July 17th, Sunday now, and it is 9.50 almost. So, Today, Morgan and I are going over to Cheetah Manix. We are going to go fishing where I went fishing last time, except we're gonna go to Jones Pond, not Cheatham Pond. As far as what rod and reels I'm going to take, I already have my carbon fire in my car, so I'm gonna take that one. And then I'm also going to be taking my other lose speed spool setup. So I'm probably just going to take two rods and reels. I don't know if that's the best idea, um, but that's what I'm doing. All right, guys. Well, now it is 10.48. I'm waiting on Morgan to get in the car so we can leave finally. <laughs> the stuff for the boat, the trolling motor, the battery, the oar, life jackets, all the good stuff. Morgan's using the restroom right now so I'm waiting on her and then we're gonna go fish Jones Pond until 5 30. Well we're now out on the water after uh, a very traumatic experience trying to get the boat off because it was stuck. Ended up ripping my damn shirt just some thread off of it so hopefully I could fix that and this water is so much clearer than I thought it was gonna be I don't know what I'm doing I think I have it backwards so uh, I went ahead and tied on a wacky rig hook that's weedless and put on a green pumpkin watermelon stick it worm this water is so clear. I really thought it was gonna be murky and dirty because all the rain. All right, well, I just had a little bite from a dink bass, but nonetheless, a fish. So I'm gonna try to get it back, but Morgan decided to- I don't even see Joe, where's Joe? I don't know. Where's Joe? Where's Joe? Where's Joe? Where's Joe? We left Jones Pond. That water is so clear, but we cannot catch anything. So now we're at Cheatham right now, which is where I was last time. And the water is murky as ever. I already had a bite on a black and blue jig, but I didn't set the hook right. We'll see if we can get it again. So it's already 7.30 p.m. If you guys can tell, I'm in a different car right now. My car is at a shop getting fixed because I got into an accident with a deer in May and when they did the repairs they didn't do a very good job so I'm having to get it repaired again now hence the reason why I'm in 
a rental. Yesterday, uh, went to Cheatham again. Went to Jones Pond. Clearest water ever. It was amazing. So awesome, but the fish just weren't biting. I tried everything. Tried finesse, wacky rig, um, shaky head, everything. And I could see them, and there were some nice bass in there, but man, they just weren't in the mood. They were not feeling it. So I didn't get a lot of footage from yesterday, but I did record going to South Pro 